Well guys, I go to get in my trapping vehicle and I pull the lever and nothing happens, which means I'm going to have to crawl through to open this door. And we got to fix this. I can't live with this like this. So, the way you fix this is with these little tiny, I don't know what they're called, Dorland's something or another is the brand name. But anyways, you can buy them anywhere. These came off eBay. You can get them at Rock Auto. But anyways, I'm going to reach up in here. There it is. And what's happened, and this is real common on these Fords, is the, the end here has broken off. So what we're going to do, so what you'd simply do is we need to cut this outside piece off. There's also a slide, the piece that slides inside of there that covers it. And this is going to go on here like this. And then we're going to slide this over there. And we're going to fix our door. See, if you just slid it down with the razor knife like I did. I just took a razor knife and slid all the way down there, trying not to go deep enough to cut that cable. And then we put a pair of pliers on this needle nose and just twist it a little bit. And that's the broken part, and that'll pop right off. It's just, that's what the heat does to stuff. I'm going to take her apart. See, there's a little sheath in there. Push that up in there. Pull all the tension out of this. There we go, just like that. And we just slide it back on there and we'll be done. So, you gotta remove this panel. This was a toolbox right here, it wasn't a panel. But when you buy a box of these, they come with like six, and you might as well plan on when one goes out, you might as well plan on fixing them all. So, Well guys, after I fix the bottom one, I find out that the top one's messed up too. So we're going to go ahead and do that while we have that. So we need to get us some torque bits out. Take these two loose here. What I'm hoping is I can just slide the whole thing down. Get the... And if we can drop it down enough to slide it out there and fix the other one while we're at it. Probably before it's over with, I'll have to pull this lock. Probably have to pull that lock out to get it to go. Okay, T27 star bit or torque is what's needed. These aren't very tight. 
So, I don't know if you need to mark it for alignment or not, but. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but right there is my problem. The part of that right there has broken off on this cable. And both of these cables are messed up. So anyways, it's jammed it. That's the reason I can't get it out. But we're going to take every bit of this loose and fix it the right way. This one's messed up too, as you can see. Okay, guys, what I did was I went ahead and just pulled the lock out. And as you can see, this is jammed in there, and that's why it failed to quit working. And this one here is messed up too. We're going to go ahead and fix that one. But we're going to, I just hope this is what happened on the back side is I got this turned around. I hope I don't end up doing that again. So see that piece is broke off right there? I have to get that out of there. Okay guys, there you go. Just cut the end off, slide these new pieces on. As you can see, both ends. And now just figure out how to get it back in this lock. Because I had to take the other one off to get a screwdriver in there and pry that up and remember how it went in there. Okay, there you go. Boy, was that a booger getting this second one on there. But that's how they go together. It'll be just like new. and just We just need to line up our our lock and our, our key lock there. We're going to have to reinstall that once we get it up there. But we're going to get it up there, try and get the screws in it. So I think it was $10. You get a whole box of these things so you can rebuild all your cables for 10 bucks. Okay, the old piece was broke, so I grabbed one of these and I fabricated it. I had to drill a hole through it and then took a angle grinder and drove me two slots into it like that. And then I'm going to use a self-tapping screw and screw it into there. Other than that, I got the lock back together and everything's testing good. This did have some Loctite on it, but I, I've never used Loctite in my life. Okay guys, there you have it. The hardest thing in this whole deal was getting this C-clamp right there back on the lock. And trying to remember how this thing went back together. But we've now put new ends right there. And up there we have two new ends and so locks back in latches back in door handles are back in fabricated a piece right there no big deals self tapping screw holding it in everything tests just fine so job done